Uh, we received a MiG-17 along with a MiG-15 from the Air Force's Boneyard in Tucson, Arizona, Davis Monson Air Base called AMARG, uh, Aircraft Maintenance Re Utilization Group, because I wanted to do an airplane head-to-head -head where we have our aircraft such as our F-8 and have the plane that it was the enemy, the, the versus type thing. And the reason we want to do that is we want to show the kids and those who come in what did our pilots have to face what our enemies were using? What technological advance did we have over them or against them that allowed mostly our pilots to win an air-to-air -air battle? So that kind of spurred me on. And then as I, I'm the guy who goes out and gets all the planes that sets up all the, we found an F-16 we're getting and a MiG-21 that are coming. So I requested, uh, both MiG-15, MiG-17 at the same time. And we received those, oh, last summer, early last summer. Now we started our restoration. This pro has just about 2,000 man hours on it to get it done. Um, what we do is we get the plane torn apart, it comes in a fuselage and a set of wings and it boxes that contain the tail and the uh, horizontal stabilizer and so on. So then we have to stop, make our plan out. How are we going to restore it? This one, since it was a part, we stripped down before it ever went together. We took all the paint off of it, sanded it down, and then started laying out parts to see what is a good part, what is it? What do we got to rebuild? What can we make? Because a lot of these parts you can't find. You cannot get, or they're flat out too expensive. Um, the H-13 restoration, the helicopter we just restored, just same time basically, the tanks on them, they were $1,000 a piece. We couldn't afford those. So we hope for donations from other people or parts that we can come up with that they might have, uh, money, whatever. They're actually on loan, but through the AMARG program, what we have to do is we have to pay what's uh, called a loading fee. They charge to take it from its parking spot to the gate and then load it on a truck. Then we have to pay the trucker to bring it here. So these ones, both the Megan 15 and 17, we're in probably in the neighborhood of about uh, $15,000. And as we're a donation ran museum entirely and a volunteer ran museum entirely, it's a lot of work to get that money. We uh, took about 2,000 hours. I got a crew of five. Um, these guys are undoubtedly, you know, if they'd worked at Smithsonian, they'd, they'd be making thousands of dollars a week for it. But none of us, we have one guy who's a pilot, and it's an occasional pilot thing. The rest of us just, we have a love for it. That's the Sabre Dog. Uh, the F-86D, which was our coastal defense fighter. Uh, F-8 Crusader, and behind it is a, uh, a4 Skyhawk that still needs to be restored, but that's, that's next on the list.